Hey guys, Scotty Tuquati here again. It's Sunday. Uh, what is it like the May 5th, Cinco de Mayo? Happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody. I'm celebrating. I don't uh, drink or party, so I'm not one, but anyway, happy Cinco. So, this is the NDC, NDC uh, build that I did. It's heavy as heck compared to you know, the GTRs we're talking about that are going 105 miles an hour. Um, so, my theory was correct, at least. I uh, saw last week I showed you the flying with the beat up props that looked like Jaws bit it and I was getting 95 miles an hour. Um, today I got up to 107 miles an hour with these Tachyon 1408 4100 KVs. So I think they're one of the fastest and strongest motors on the market. Only problem is is that um, for this particular quad I'm having problems with my VTX signal dropping all of a sudden and I had to switch out the camera because it wasn't working and now this camera my Fox here is not working properly so I'll show you the footage but it really sucks because as I'm punching it I'm losing visual connection and at some points I was actually losing connection with the quad and all you can see is when I'm starting to go over 100 miles an hour and then that's it just complete snow but at the end of the flight where it shows the statistics you'll see uh, the numbers will read either 106 or 107 miles an hour, which is not bad for this quad. And you guys know how much extra junk I have on here. It's a heavy pig, but you know, just as fast, if not faster than those, uh, the highest production models that they have out there. And with these motors, guys, I know a lot of you guys are much better at FPV than I am. You know how to do builds much better than I do too. So you can get this build on your own a lot lighter with these motors. They're probably getting freaking you smoke my my speeds if i got 107 you pros out there have got to be able to get freaking 110 115 easy with these motors so anyway uh, something to think about like i said these tachyons you can get them from time to time uh, only on uh not only bango too but amazon and they're like 45 bucks for all four of them so you guys already have builds out there that are super light and can handle 4s just spend an extra 45 bucks and get yourself the fastest quad right so anyway that's all i have um i'll show you the flight footage and i'll go to my house and weigh this thing so you can see just how heavy that this thing is you know because i got that uh, buzzer on top that's an extra 10 grams so yeah it's a fat pig and it's faster than most quads out there three inch and you guys put these motors on yours you'll be definitely the fastest with your pro builds because like i said i'm a newbie and i kind of suck at this i'm just getting there all right guys that's all i got for now sky to quality sign up Scotty Tuquati here. Uh, like I just said at the park, I was going to come home and weigh it for you so you can see just how heavy my Needy C build is with the Tachyon motors on it, 1408, uh, 4100 KVs. Now, I'm going to show you guys the video, like I said, in my first part, and I'm really reluctant to show it because as I was punching it and going over 100 miles an hour, all you can see is complete snow. And so the only proof that I have is like, you know, when it, the plane actually, or the quad actually comes down and you see the stats and you can see what your fastest speed was. So with that said, let's weigh this beast and see how much she weighs. 172 grams. Guys, gals, that's heavy. That is one heavy three inch quad that gets 106, 107 miles an hour. So yeah, like I said before, when you guys know how to build builds much lighter than mine, and those, you know, the ones that they're showing on YouTube all the time, they're getting 100, 105 miles an hour, and theirs is at least 40 grams lighter than mine. Now let's throw on one of the batteries I was using. This is 650 milliamp, uh, the Hobby Line, China Hobby Line King, China Hobby Line, whatever. 258 grams, so that's heavy. That's heavy to be going 107 miles an hour, and 850 milliamp. Uh, GNB 272 grams that is one heavy quad guys anyway yeah if you guys have a light quad that's running uh, that's able to run 4s I recommend getting these motors they're the cheapest and very durable motors that you're gonna find best bank for the buck and you will definitely get speeds much better than what I have so if I'm doing 107 like I said you guys are probably gonna be able to get 110 115 no problem so anyway that's all i've got like i said i'm reluctant to show this video but i'm going to because it hurts my eyes to even play it and even with music in the background it's gonna suck so i'm probably just gonna just make it uh 
no audio whatsoever, it's just so you can see the stats. All right, guys, that's all I got. Bye.